going to use VLA2K to move through a common pipeline of three levels of analysis. Personality at the user level with Facebook data, document level affect using Facebook and Twitter, and finally we will explore counting level heart disease mortality rate through Twitter data. We start with our corpus. Using MySQL as our data engine, you can see our Facebook messages along with the message ID and a user ID. To extract user level n-grams, we specify the database, the corpus table, the level analysis, and then supply an action, in this case, to extract 1 to 3 grams, and then combine everything into one 1 to 3 gram table. Because this will produce a very large number of features, many only occurring a few times, we also turn on the feature occurrence filter and say that a feature must be used by at least 1% of the sample. Features are stored by default in a sparse format with the group ID, or user ID in this case, feature name, value, here the n-gram count, and the normalized value called the group norm, which is the relative frequency. Next, we can extract topics. We use topic posteriors that we already have available in the same base command, except specify to add a lexicon feature table, specify its name, and that it will be weighted. To run differential language analysis at this point, we specify the extra linguistic variables from an outcome data set. Here you can see the user ID along with the scores for openness, conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion, and eroticism. Here we are using a hashed anonymous user ID. We specify the feature table we just created, the outcomes we want, and controls, age and gender in this case, and ask for a correlation matrix as well as a differential word cloud. DLATK produced this word cloud, which consists of 1 to 3 grams positively correlated with extroversion. Finally, to predict personality, we have the same setup but use a regression or classification command such as combo test regression, which will run n fold cross validation over all combinations of linguistic features and extra linguistic controls. In other words, predicting personality using combinations of n-grams plus age and gender. To switch to another level of analysis, we simply change the group by field. If we wanted to predict counting level heart disease using Twitter data, we simply change the dash C flag and point the interface to the proper outcome table. Here we see the output of our prediction command. The first cross-validation uses just the Twitter language. You can see we have a Pearson R of about 0.7. Down here we have a list of controls such as demographics and socioeconomics. And for these we have a Pearson R of 0.72. And then if we combine the two, residualizing out the controls first, and then regressing the language, we see we get a little boost and have a Pearson R of 0.75. We have shown a common use case for DLATK. There are dozens of other actions one can take from the basic setup we have shown, many of which are shown on our website, dlatk.wwbp.org. Thank you.